Hey guys, today is uh, November the 28th of 2018, and I want to go over a technique I use called the GAN grid. It's a technique I learned from MSJ, and it's very valuable to my trading strategy. Pretty much, the GAN grid, I believe, was uh, introduced to help traders when their software package, their trading software package is not scaled accurately. A lot of traders get frustrated when they use the GAN fans and the GAN grid and the squares and, and all these other uh, grids, GAN grid theories and uh, application on their software, trading software, and see that price action it's doing its own thing, it's not respecting, it's just not working at all. So a lot of traders get frustrated. And a lot of traders don't know is that your trading platform chart, most of them are not scaled accurately. So you put a 45 degree and it's really not a 45 degree and you get frustrated. So in order to get a better solution, I believe can, uh, MSJ introduced this in his, uh, one of his courses, and I find it very valuable because on my trading platform, which is Think or Swim, it's not that great for uh, GAN uh, theory. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's manual. You could do it on your chart. Assuming you have a Fibonacci uh, drawing uh, tools, uh, if you have that and you could draw trend lines, then you pretty much could have the, grand, the, the GAN grid on your own. And hopefully this helps you out in your trading future. So let's get into it. We're going to do a default, take it all out. I'm using the Aussie as an example, as we know. Uh, the Aussie made a swing low on October the 26th, and this is where we're at right now. So the GAN theory, the GAN grid, what you want to do is you want to get the first impulse wave of the move. And pretty much the first impulse wave from this swing low was this one right here. It's not this one, it's this one, because you have a, a retrace, a pullback of a couple of days. So the deeper the retrace, the better, because they'll show you that that's the first impulse wave. So first impulse wave, that's the one you want to get. You pull out your Fibonacci or whatever you use and put that right here. I use percentage levels, so there's a 25, 37.5, the 50%, 62.5, 75%, and the 100%. You could use a Fibonacci. I like percentage levels just because just it's just me. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to push this forward and get the uh, my software, trading software says Fibonacci time ratios. You click on the swing low and what you want to do, you want to line up to that pivot here the 25% in regards to time. Uh, so I'm going to, you don't have to be OCD, but get it close so it could lock in good. I think right there is good. So you can see that the important lines are the blue, which is the 25, the 75, and this one is the 50%, uh, which is special. So the 50% here and the 50% here. So you want to do, I repeat, you want to take the first impulse wave and once it does the retracement, that is going to be the first impulse wave. This would be your 25% where you lock it in in regards to time ratio. So pretty much you created a box, which I call the GAN grid. Next thing you want to do, you want to create trend lines. So 
If you have the tools, drawing tools, you pick trend line. All you're going to be doing is pivoting, it, pivoting from here to that first impulse wave. And then pretty much I'm just going to, instead of keep drawing them, I'm just going to um, duplicate them. And then the next one will be the 50%, which would be somewhere around right here. Then you duplicate it and you go to the 75. You know, if you want, you could do the 37.5. You could do the 62.5. There's no written rules. It's just going to be more lines. I kind of keep it a little more simple. But hey, if you know, if you back tested it and you see that those lines are valuable, hey, go ahead, add them in. And then you want to duplicate it. Put that there, duplicate it. You see that's the 25%. And go to the 50%. You duplicate that. And go to the 75%. And then you leave last the one by one. Because you're going to see what I'm going to do. Duplicate this. And then kind of. Line it up there pretty good. Double click on it. Make it green, dash, and you're off. So, first impulse wave, that's where you lock in your 25% in regards to time. So that's your four by one. This is going to be your three by one, your two by one, your one by one, which is the 45 degree. This is your one by two, one by three, and one by four. Anything on this side of the grass is bullish. So right now the Aussie is strong. Anything on this side, Below the green dashed line is bearish or weak. Strong, weak. And that pretty much sums up the GAN grid. You could leave that there. And if this is the swing low for 2018 on the Aussie, you will see that the Aussie will probably, you know, here and there dip below the one by one, find support in this angle bounce right back up and just kind of dance around these angles. But the good thing about it is, is that the grid is locked to the screen. So no matter what you do, it is locked because it's locked from a swing pivot low and the first impulse wave. That way it's scaled in regards to the impulse wave. And you can see that the uh, Aussie uh, is finding support at the one by one right now. Sometimes the timing works within these here, but sometimes it doesn't. I just look at it as the speed and where the Aussie is in regards to the grid. So it's a strategy that I use. You could use this on the daily. You could use this on the weekly. And you could use it on, you know, big swing points. Uh, and you could kind of gauge what instrument you're using, where it's at. If it's bullish, if it's strong, if it's getting a little weak, if it's in the middle, like somewhere like here. And you could get a better understanding. You could use this on crypto, crude. You could use this on commodities, on stocks, whatever. As long as you have the drawing tools, like the Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci uh, time ratios and trend line, you could do the GAN grid and it could be locked to your chart, locked to price. You can move it around and it's going to stay locked. And you should see how price action behaves within these lines uh, going upward 
or if you if it's bearish going down. Hopefully you like this video. Subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on GAN stuff.